Hello. How are y'all doing today? So, like I said on on uh, uh, Twitter, uh, I was going to stream for a little bit today. So, it's not going to be as long as like yesterday was. Well, Monday. It's Wednesday now, but Monday. But you get what I'm saying. The other day, whenever I streamed, uh, it won't be as long. It'll be close to an hour at the very least. But um, in the meantime, though, we're just going to go ahead and just jump right into it. But for those that might have missed last stream, uh, last stream we ended up embarking on the uh, non-human path. For those that don't know, uh, in the game, eventually, all of a sudden I forgot how to fight for some reason. If I shouldn't be distracted, then. But um, what I was trying to say is, is that last time uh, we embarked on the non-human path, and basically, according to. Um, the story link and stuff like that. There'll be a certain point in the story in which where you embark in two different paths. You can either join with the humans or you can join with the non-humans. In our case, uh, I decided to go with the non-human. Why? Oh, well, simple, really. I feel like the humans have overstated their welcome. Well, not overstated their welcome. What I mean is that they kind of uh, overdone it this time around. If you don't know what I mean, uh, well, they basically enslaved the dwarves. They basically started a war on the, uh, dwarves, and now it won't be long before the non-humans will be fighting against the humans. So my guess is that eventually we're gonna get tied up into something big. But... Ridley is going to uh, head over to the Light Elf's tribe in order to, I guess, get some answers or at the very least figure out what to do or how to help and stuff like that. And we're just tagging along in this rate. But, uh, one of the reasons why tonight's gonna be a short stream, and I, I say it's short because, like I said, it's gonna be at least an hour at the very most, maybe even a little bit longer, depending. But the reason why is because I've got a lot that I need to do in terms of, like, uh, obviously cleaning the house is one of them. Uh, it's kind of a mess at the moment. I've been distracted. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's the most stupidest excuse ever. I guess I might as well talk a little bit about it while I'm here. Uh, I've been... Uh, I, I guess in a way, I've been strangely addicted to Elden Ring. And not in a good way, either. It's that type of addiction in which where you go, five more minutes. You said five more minutes five hours ago. And that's not good. I mean, it's good because that means the game is good regardless of how hard it gets. And at first, I thought I was burned out on it, but I eventually just got to a point where I was like, you know what, screw uh, everything else, I'm going to play the game however I feel like it, and basically what I'm doing, I'm just kind of like playing through it however way I want to. What I mean is that I'm basically just cheesing it. In the most effective way, you know. If you know Elden Ring, you know that probably one of the most, arguably the best weapons in the game, is uh, Rivers of Blood. And the reason is because of its uh, skill effect. And it's very powerful. 
But I've also been switching between that to uh, um, the uh, two of the DLC's uh, weapons. One of them is the Impera, um, which is a twin blade. And then the other one is, uh, I forget his name, but he's a boss. And he's, a bas he's basically the cover uh, boss for the DLC. Mezra, I believe is his name. Mezra's uh, spear. And the reason why I like that weapon so well is because you can actually throw it. So that's really cool. I like that. It's a reusable throwing weapon. And it's very effective. I, I really been loving that. But anyway, so I've been kind of building my character around all that. And I've been also using the uh, uh, dragon uh, incantations. Uh -oh. So you eradicated the dwarf settlement in the valley and killed the dragon. I see. The Light Elves will not stand by in silence. We can no longer avoid a confrontation. Yes, those Elves will jump at any excuse to strike at the humans. Although the negotiations broke down, the use of force was reckless. The Knights have suffered serious losses. I must bear full responsibility for the situation. What's done is done. It cannot be helped. The battle between humans and non-humans was all but inevitable. Sir. But the appearance of the dragon was unanticipated. Dinos, are you familiar with the ancient legend? Yes. The tower breaks the sky. Here come the dragons to bring it down. Yes. So why did the earth dragon appear now? And why did it come to help the dwarves? That is what I do not understand. The dwarves were probably raising it as a guard dog. Dragons are no different than any other animal, after all. Yes, dragons may be strong, but it was easy enough for me... I mean, easy enough for us to slay. Perhaps. Someone please what bitch slap him for me. Next? We must strengthen Fort Lynch's defenses against a possible attack by the elves and other dragons. Cowardice! General, why are you being so timid? We must strike at the non-humans now and crush them! We have defeated dragons! Nothing can stop us! According to the legend, two dragons still remain. Do you think you can defeat all our enemies? Leave it to me, Lord Larks. My sword will soon cut them down. That's enough, Cross. Your arrogance is starting to get on my nerves. N you and me both. If the general is afraid of a fight, he's welcome to stay in the back and guard the rear. Insolent whelp! Dinus, Cross, now is not the time to squabble among ourselves. The dwarves and earth dragon have been destroyed, and the other non-humans are rising in anger. Whatever happens, it is our duty to defend the kingdom. If the kingdom cannot be saved, there will be little hope for humanity. We have no choice but to battle the dragons. It is the duty of the knights, is it not, Dinus? Yes, sir. But we lost far too many men in the last battle. We don't have the strength for another attack. Now is not the time for excuses. A great menace approaches from Wind Valley. From Wind Valley, sir? According to Lord Lucian's report, the Wind Dragon has arrived there. <laughs> the Wind Dragon. They fly to us like moths to a flame. General Dynas, I am ordering you to attack the dragon. Take Cross with you and destroy the beast. Sir, the dragon is as good as dead. Sir. Man, I really hate that cross fella right now. Let's see. Okay, once there's another fork, I need to go that direction. But, uh, anyway. So I've been just kind of, you know, using whatever I want, and then just kind of building my character around that and everything. And I've been really enjoying the game. Like, is that enjoyment in which we're... Is it hard? Yes. But it's fun 
to use these different moves and stuff that I ordinarily wouldn't think to use outside because of me being afraid that I was going to die at any moment. But experimenting with those different moves and everything has definitely been very f entertaining for me. It does take a little bit of getting used to and stuff like that. Because I tried doing a sorcerer's uh, build. The only problem that I have... Is that... Due to the nature of... I can't even think. Due to the nature of the... Uh, uh, point requirements to use said spells. Like for example, the highest one for a particular spell requires 80 intelligence. That's stupidly crazy. That is insane. But supposedly it's very powerful and I've seen its effectiveness and it's very unique. But to have 80 intelligence, that would take up a lot more points needed than other attributes that I would rather have. For example, Whenever I started playing through uh, Elden Ring again, whenever I was getting ready for the DLC, I was wanting to do, um, basically I was just slowly progressing in the game, but I was also leveling up my HP and Endurance. And what I've learned is this, is that HP and Endurance helps out way more than you think. Yes, it mythfully is by a small standards, but depending on your playstyle depends on the likelihood that you would actually need endurance slash HP. For example, most weapons, while yes there is a scaling, is not that big of a difference. If you're wanting to use a particular weapon, you don't need to go beyond that scaling requirement, but just instead reach for that scaling and then increase whatever parameters you want to use. For example, uh, the weapon that I had at the time, whenever I was starting the game, I had two swords, and I would dual stand, uh, dual standings with them. Um, but they require very little points in strength and dexterity. Like, it was barely 20. So, I basically went up to like 15 on both strength and dexterity, and then I went up as much as I wanted to on both, uh, um, vigor and endurance. And... That helped me get through the game relatively easier than I expected. And by the time I got to the DLC, I thought I was ready, which I was wrong. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, it was definitely something unique and different about. But, as I was continuing uh, playing it again and stuff like that, I had an itch of wanting to try out different weapons and different movesets. And some of them have been really good. So eventually what I'm going to plan on doing with the uh, Elden Ring file that I've got created and stuff like that. If there's a particular build that I'm wanting to create. Uh, I'll just use a Larva Tier to ch change specs and stuff. But until then I'm just mostly replaying through the game as many times as I want to. And level up whatever parameter status I want to level up and stuff. So as of right now I've got like... Uh, arcane and faith even uh, dexterity uh, leveling up to a certain extent but I'm just going as far as I want to with endurance and figure so in other words once they get to 99 then I'll worry about everything else but until then I'm just playing through the game enjoying it to my heart's content until I feel like yeah I'm kind of burned out again and then if I ever feel like I want to jump back in I'll just jump back in I don't know if I'll ever get to New Game Plus 7. I say I will eventually, because you can only kill for so long and stuff like that. But my goal is to try to get certain weapons, certain unique weapons that I feel interested, hang on to them, max them out, and then at a later playthrough, try them out eventually. The only problem is, though, is that once I get to New Game Plus 7, I've never done New Game Plus 7. The farthest I think I've done was like 4, technically, and I don't even remember which one it was. But anytime I was uh, building another character or something like that, or I want to try a different build, I usually just start over from the beginning. Now I just feel like, hang on to the file that I've got right now, and uh, just level up to my heart's content, you know?
Oh, no! This is terrible, just terrible! <laughs> it's a disaster, Lucian! Please, do something! What is it, my lord? It's Ridley! Ridley has run away! Lady Ridley? I just went to her room, and there was a note saying that she wasn't coming back! <laughs> what should I do? Tell me, Lucian, what should I do? Please be calm, Lord Jasne. I shall instruct the guards to begin a search immediately. You... you'll be able to bring her back? You return to your room and try to relax. I will let you know the moment I hear anything. You will? Right away? Do you promise? Of course. Trust me. All right. I'll be waiting in my room. Of course he knows, doesn't he? Hmm. This means that her awakening continues to progress. I must not delay. Story's unfolding relatively rapidly. But, uh, in terms of, like, what I'm doing right now and why I'm kind of, like, doing a short stream tonight and stuff, uh, it's mostly to kind of prepare myself for next week. And if you don't know what's going on next week, allow me to give you a big hint. Black Myth Wukong. Yeah, next week, uh, Black Myth Wukong will officially finally be released. After waiting for so long, I finally get to play that game. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Been very excited about wanting to play it. So I'm just kind of like getting videos prepped up and made so that way I don't have to worry about being behind on content and instead I can just concentrate on relaxing and chilling and playing uh, Wukong to my heart's content. I'm very excited about it. If you haven't figured it out, I'm very excited about it. But also too, I'm also taking a vacation uh, from work next week as well. So in other words, I just gotta work this full week, and then next week I'll be off for a full week. And I'm looking forward to it. I say depending, uh, I'll probably be able to do a lot more content creating during that week as well. I won't guarantee that I'll be streaming other nights, it just depends on how I feel. Obviously for the first couple of nights I won't be doing streaming at all, because I'll be playing Black, Black, Black Myth Wukong. <laughs> but, uh, depending on how I am towards, like, the end of my vacation and stuff like that, I might do more. Might do more streaming, we'll see. Won't make any promises. Like, for example, I haven't really stick to the schedule i try to stay to it so that way people who either like the content that i make or watch the videos that i've done will come back on like a regular schedule basis and it's kind of hard to keep up with that kind of schedule but as it stands right now there's really no major reason to keep up with a pattern and instead, just stream whenever I want to, you know? Like, there's been times that I've actually thought about wanting to stream off uh, schedule, you know? Like, say for example, there'll be one or two moments of the week in which where I feel like, you know what, I want to stream. And so I'll stream. I haven't really done it yet, but I would like to do that eventually at some point in time.
Oh wow, we got an army of little things. You know, I just now r realize that we may end up having to fight a boss in just a little bit. Because if they're on their way to the uh, Wind Valley, which is where we're technically heading right now, if I'm not mistaken. And that's the City of Flowers. Where's Wind Valley at, anyway? Because there's Earth Valley. I have no idea where Wind Valley is. I know we're on our way to the City of Flowers, and I know it involves the Light Elves, but... Are we heading to Wind Valley? Because if we are, we may end up encountering them. that the ones playing Psycho are you humans? Well, who the heck are you? It's Lord Nogaira's brother, Lord Zane, the ruler of the Light Elves. So this is the Light Elf leader? Humans enslaved the dwarves in their own minds. Humans spread Algandars across the land. But why do humans seek to tear down all order in Totaus? Why? What? What are you going to do with me? I will kill you. Then the humans will know they are at war with the elves. I don't think so. You keep your slimy hands off of her. You want to fight a war against the humans? It is a war for our very existence. First, we will topple Fort Helencia once and for all. Hey, you! I said, keep your slimy hands off her, capiche? If that's what you really want, and what the other non-humans want, then I have no choice. I have received the transmutation. I must stand by the side of the elves. You... you would join the elves? But, but no, you are lying like your kind always does. Hey, hey, hey! I'm talking to you! Back down! Or we fillet the girl. What, you persistent imbecile? If you want Fort Valencia that much, I'll go capture it for you, okay? Jeff? What's he saying? They know me there. I can sneak in and take them by surprise. It's less risky than a full-scale assault. Hmm. He has a point. Then, in return, you let Ridley go. How about it? Jack, stop it! You can't possibly take the whole fort on your own. I'll figure it out, okay? Very well. Lord Zane? You shall conquer Fort Helencia. In return, I will spare this girl's life. It's a deal! Jack! Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Listen, you'd better take good care of her while I'm gone. Don't even think about running. Yeah! Ha! <laughs> Who's running? You guys are the ones who better not take off. Later. 
ですね Hopefully they'll buy her some time to explain the situation and stuff. Hip! Well, look who's there. The guy in that tent. What the heck is he up to? I don't know for sure. But I do know that he's plotting something. He's up to no good. But that's when they all appeared. We brought the Blood Orcs all that way, just so we could unleash them on the City of Flowers. Who'd have guessed those buffoons would be wandering around there? Them showing up was a real surprise. You're telling me. What a disaster that was. <laughs> Sir Cross brought that blood orc? What was he thinking? It's his fault Lady Ridley was hurt. Unbelievable. Everything is clear to me now. This settles it. I know what I must do. Uh, wait, Gantz. Wait for us. <laughs> He's taking charge relatively quickly. Let's see, how far is it? Oh, not that far at all. And since I've defeated a lot of the enemies, surely to goodness, I can just run past them, maybe? I mean, they're not strong, so they're not really going to be a pest, but they're not giving out as much experience as I would like for them to. So, it's like at this point right now, they're just kind of delaying the inevitability of me just being able to get to my end goal. And really, me being at, like, what level am I on? 31. Being at level 31, so far, we haven't had any issues. The only issues we've had was probably, like, certain bosses, but even then, I took them out almost with no issue whatsoever. So unless I just can't get around them, I'll fight them. But if I can't walk around them, then that's what I'm going to do. I would like to get Jack a new armor set. I was actually looking on the wikia, and there are some good armor pieces that I would like to get. But they require progressing through the story, obviously. So, that's what we'll do. We'll progress through the story. I mean, to be fair, we were out of side quest stuff anyway, so... Oh, where'd you pop from? I go ahead and save in case I encounter something big.
Okay, then. I talked it up pretty good back there. But now what do I do? I mean, how do you invade a fort? It's not like I've done this before. Paul, who goes there? Hey, how you doing? I'm Jack. I'm a new sergeant with the Warrior Guild. I need to get inside. Sergeant Jack, never heard of you. You can't come in, so go home. Sheesh. I guess it takes a while for word to get around. Listen, I know I don't look like it, but I used to be a Radiata Knight. You don't look like a knight, and you don't sound like one either. Now, Fram! Oh, man. Security guard from hell. This jerk really likes his job. You say something. Me? No, no. So, uh, why don't you just tell me who the head honcho is in the fort? Well, now that the VLA Chevray Brigade's been posted here, I guess it would be Lady Natalie. Natalie? Right! So that old geezer Leonard's here, too! All right, get Natalie out here. Hey, Lady Natalie doesn't take orders from you. Okay, fine. Leonard's here, too, right? Can he come out? Mr. Leonard? Hmm. All right, wait here. This should be interesting. Hey, Pops, what's up? Don't call me Pops. Where in the world have you been? We've been looking all over for you. Huh? For me? Yep. Come on in. <laughs> that was easy. Why did you kidnap Lady Ridley? What? Kidnap her? We have witnesses. We know you abducted her. Listen, Jack. You better come clean if you don't want to make things worse for yourself. Hey, wait a second. What are you talking about? Abducted? You guys think I kidnapped Ridley? She quit the knights and left the castle on her own. She said she wanted to go to the City of Flowers. Don't lie. Lady Ridley would never pull a crazy stunt like that. I'm serious. That's what she said. I got worried and followed her. She couldn't possibly desert the kind and adoring Lord Jasmine. Oh, she was moving Lord. up in the night. She had just been given her own brigade. Why would she throw all that away? Now spit it out. Let's have the truth. We don't have any time for these ridiculous lies. I'm the one who doesn't have time. Ridley's been captured by the elves, and, uh, uh, whoops, I shouldn't have said that. Oh, who cares? Listen! If I don't take over this fort, the elves are going to kill Ridley, okay? Huh? Look, you don't have to believe me. Just hand over the fort. Whoa, whoa, now hold on, Jack. You're not making much sense there, buddy. Oh, wait, I know. You're angry about being fired from the Knights, so you kidnapped Ridley for revenge, right? No! Will you listen? He's not giving us any choice, Leonard. I guess we're going to have to get a little rough with him. I'm sorry we have to do this, Jack, but it's for your own good. Ah! Uh, we're wasting time! Enough already! Just give me the fort, now! Jack! What are you doing? Who cares? Take him down, Leonard. Well, here we go.
Oh, she's mad. That was just crazy. Huh? I talk, I mean. Paul. Hey. Sergeant. Shh, listen. You don't look like. Oh. You say. Me? Well. Natalie. Right? All right. Hey. Okay. Mr. Le I'm just wondering if I should take out Natalie. That might be my best option. I was taking Leonard out. What? We have Listen. Hey, abduct. She quit the don't. I'm she, she was moving. What? Now I'm the one. Uh, if I don't take Huh? Look. Whoa. You're angry. But no. He's not. I'm huh? Enough of Jack. Who can There. Whew, I was trying to make certain she doesn't use her special ability after seeing how much damage it did to me. 500 points. Damn, that hurt. I've been thinking about it for a while. 
What, what are you talking about? I'll spare your life, but you have to do exactly as I say. Exactly as you say? No, not that. No, stop, you horrible monster! You beast! Whoa, calm down. You've got it all wrong. I just want to see you grovel a bit. Oh, I see. I just assumed... Hey, wait a minute. I'm not doing that either. Yeah? Okay, fine. Have it your way. But if you don't want to beg for your life... You wouldn't! Oh, you evil scoundrel! Sometimes my good looks are such a curse! Well, I'm waiting! Oh, all right, all right. Oh, dear Master Jack, please don't kill me. Please spare my life. How about, oh, Lord Jack, most great and powerful warrior, and try to put more effort into it? Uh, I don't believe this. Oh, Lord Jack, most great and powerful warrior, please spare my life. Nah, that's no good. You've got to be cuter when you do it. Like, oh, pretty, pretty, please. Try oh, gosh, Jack. Pushing your luck. Yeah, literally. On, I don't have all day. And don't forget the pose, either. What pose? Oh, pretty, 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 please. <laughs> what the heck was that? You are so dead. Anyway. I guess it's about time for you to hand over the fort. What was that? <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Huh? Captain, are you all right? Captain Natalie, is the intruder in there? Uh-oh. You fool. I was just playing along with your little farts to buy some time. Oh, darn. Ha! The tables are turned now. Time for you to get what you deserve, kidnapper. Captain Natalie! You! What do you think you're doing here? Uh oh, this looks bad. That's Lady Ridley's kidnapper! Don't let him get away! Get him! This is not working out well. Light elves? We figured a human couldn't take down a fortress all by himself. Lord Zane told us to come and keep an eye on you. Make sure you didn't try to run away. Uh, I wasn't running. I'm just making a strategic withdrawal so I can launch another attack. Yep, it looks like you really are trying to take on the entire fort. Well, well. It's not every day you see a human keeping his word. Light Elves? What are they doing here? All right, let's get rid of this lot. Huh? Are you serious? Are you trying to start a war? <laughs> that was our plan from the beginning. Huh? Oh gosh. Ha! <laughs> 
Ooh, that was close. Things got really rough there. <laughs> have begun their uprising. Jack, look at yourself. Can't you see what you're doing? What I'm doing? Look at who you're with. You've turned against your own kind. No. No, I haven't. Soldiers, pull back! We have to defend the fort! We're going to start the attack on the fort. You can go back to the City of Flowers. Go on, back to the city. Lord Zane is waiting for you. But they... Okay. Take care. Jack's a little uneasy about all this. So you really came back. I guess we can let you in. Lord Zane is waiting for you inside. Go on in. What's wrong with that guy? Don't know. Okay, there's a save right here. Finally in the City of Flowers. I'm gonna assume he's at the very top. Is that it? I think so. Well, well. You surprised me, Jack. I suppose that we can trust you from now on. Of course, I shall keep my word. I will spare the human girl. Jack! Are you alright? Hey, Ridley. What's wrong? Are you hurt? No, it's not that. Lord Zane! Terrible news, sir! What is it, Coco? What happened? The humans! They sent a force to Wind Valley! They killed Lord Saifid! What? L lord Saifid? Are you sure of that? Yes. This is because I sent Gil and the others to the fort. Damn those humans. Very well, if that is what they want. We shall take that fort and crush them once and for all. I want all the elf forces sent to Fort Helencia now. Y yes, my lord. The humans have killed Lord Saifid, the Wind Dragon. There will be consequences. Prepare yourselves for what is to come. The Wind Dragon? And so you decided to come back empty-handed? What were you thinking? I'm very sorry, my lord. <laughs> Why did you let them get away? If the light elf warrior Gil was there, there is little that they could have done. The humans have lost Fort Valencia. But on the other hand, we have managed to slay the wind dragon. Who cares about dragons? You imbecilic dumbbell! You useless ninny! I am very, very, very sorry, Lord Jasna. Please forgive my carelessness. Very well. I would 
give you one more chance. I want you to find that perverted little twerp and bring him to me. Is that clear? Yes, my lord. Eek. It was just a dream. Huh? Where am I? A new headquarters. Oh, right. Fort Halencia. That Zane guy brought me here. Well, I guess they really are going to war with the humans. Jack, are you up? The strategy meeting is about to start. Huh? Oh, hey, Ridley. What's the matter, Jack? You've been kind of down since yesterday. Yeah. It's just that Leonard said that I'd turned against my own kind. With Zane starting this war, I've ended up fighting against my own friends. The world is starting to change. There's nothing any of us can do to stop it. Yeah, but still. Listen, we all have our own mission in life. Everyone has a belief in how things should be. Humans have human dreams. Elves have elven dreams. I have mine. And Jack, you have yours, right? I guess so. Protecting you, that's my mission. I guess. <laughs> if that's true, then I'm very grateful. Ridley. Jack, listen to me. I can't turn away from this war. Yeah. Okay then. I'll have to come along and protect you. That's going to be my job. Jack. <laughs> right. You said something about a meeting. I think I'll have to check that out. She's just glad that you're staying along. <laughs> this is going to be a weird uh, meeting. Are we ever going to get this meeting started? I'm all ready to go here. Come on. Be patient. We're waiting for the guest of honor. Guest of honor? What's he going to do? Give a speech? The guest of honor will be leading the discussion. You weren't so keen on the war yesterday. Humans change like the weather. Greetings to you all! Oh, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. You! Huh? It's the geezer with the funny money! Hello! Is that the young laddie I met in town? What the heck? Ah! You were a great help to me that day. Uh, crushing bones, crushing bones. <laughs> Lord Parsec and the boy know each other? Apparently. Lord Jack Parsec, gets around. We should be starting the meeting now. I, I reckon we should. <laughs> What's this? A human girl? Ah, uh, yes. This is the girl who received the transpiration from my brother. Oh, I heard about that, I did. So then, you must be Hap. The name's Ridley. Oh, ho, ho, ho. what a delightful young lady. Parsec the Fire Dragon at your service. He's the Fire Dragon? What? The old guy's the Fire Dragon? Now. Let's begin this strategy meeting. What we decide here will affect the fate of all fairy creatures. Indeed, the fate of the entire world. But first, I must offer my sincere condolences to you, Lord Parsec. The death of Lord Seyfet is a great loss. Ah, you don't have to worry about him one bit. He's only sleeping, that's all. What do you mean? What's this? Don't tell me that the immortal elves have forgotten how our world works. 
Huh? How it works? Yeah, tell us. No, I reckon I'll just have to explain it. Our world is governed by the great cosmic elements. You know that much, don't you? Wind, water, earth, and fire. We four dragons are responsible for watching over these four elements. The cosmic order. Yes, that's right. The wind dragon guards the elves. The water dragon guards the orcs. The earth dragon guards the dwarves. And as the fire dragon, I am responsible for guarding the goblins. Wait, but what about us humans? Humans have the most important role of all. They serve as the vessel for the twin dragons. We're a vessel? That's right. The twin dragons, the gold dragon and the silver dragon, keep watch over this world. Just as night follows day and day follows night, so the two dragons each take their turn as guardians. Silver dragon or gold dragon, one or the other always looks over the world and protects its order. But neither dragon has its own form. They have to enter a vessel before they can awaken. So without humans to serve as their vessel, the twin dragons would never awake. Exactly, me little lady. Oh, you're as sharp-minded as you are charming. Okay, so which one's in charge now? The gold one or the silver one? Now it is the era of the silver dragon. But the time of the gold dragon is close. When it comes, it will mean the end of this world. Eh? The end? But wait, does that mean it'll be the end for humans too? Yes, as long as the four elements stay unbalanced, then it's bound to happen. On the other hand, when the end comes, the four dragons will reawaken from their sleep and live again. Hey, that sucks! What kind of system is that? Oh, you can't argue with it. It's your destiny. Of course, humans are destined to die. Algandars is spreading through the land. The cosmic elements have been thrown out of balance. It's inevitable. No, that has nothing to do with it. Really? What do you mean? The dwarves of Earth Valley are being trampled underfoot. My brother Nogaira has been killed. But no one knows when Quasar the Gold Dragon will awaken. In any case, while there's no vessel, nothing will change. But there is. Huh? In the meantime, all you can do is play your role and follow your own convictions. You have to do your very best to fulfill your own mission. That's what makes you alive. Yes, I get it. I know what the old guy is trying to say. Oh, no. I doubt it. Sure I do. The way I figure... The Silver Dragon and Gold Dragon are like fate, right? We don't know when the Gold Dragon is going to wake up. Just like no one knows when they're going to die. So all we humans can do is go out there and do our best every day. <laughs> I think the little laddie gets it. See, I'm right. If that is the case, it is our never-ending duty to quash the arrogance of the humans, is it not? I reckon that's right, too. However, there is one thing that has been bothering me a little. And that would be? And what is that? I think that Ophelion, the Silver Dragon, may be up to something. Ophelion's that guy you were looking for a while back, right? Aye. He's taken a certain human as a vessel. And he's controlling the humans from within Radiata Castle. What? The Silver Dragon is in Radiata Castle? 
Who is it then? I found out where he was hiding just before I came here. But if he's in Radiata Castle, then who is he? Do I know him? No, don't you worry about that. You let me deal with Aphelion. I'd like to find out what he's up to. I think it's time I dropped by and paid him a visit. Are you going to Radiata Castle? But my lord, think of the danger. Oh no, I'll be fine if I stay in human form. In any case, I don't have much choice. It's my job to speak to him. Very well. In the meantime, we shall all be working to fulfill our own convictions. Right. You do that then. Hey, old guy. I've got a question. What would that be? My father... Well... He killed the water dragon. Is killing a dragon like a crime or something? Huh? What did he say? So then... You must be Cairn's son. Oh dear. It's not a crime, lad. Your father was doing nothing more than following his own mission. Okay. <laughs> if you put it that way... <laughs> Jack, <laughs> I think you should pay a little visit to Goblin Haven. Huh? Goblin Haven? What's that? Goblin Haven. It's the Black Goblin Village, of course. You should take Miss Ridley with you, I reckon. Take me? But the war's just starting. What are we supposed to do all the way out there? Well, if you go, you'll find out, won't you, lad? I think that going there is part of your destiny, Jack. Hmm. Well, how about it, Ridley? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go. Ha! <laughs> no doubt about it. She's a real charmer. <laughs> you know, old guy, you could try acting more dragon-like. Jack, watch your tongue. <laughs> Very well. Coco, I want you to guide these two to Goblin Haven. Uh, yes, sir. Right away, my lord. Boy, things are definitely going a little crazy. Gosh. Although the lore is very interesting. Yeah. If I can find a shop, I would like to see if there's any new armor. Glory Axe, okay. Ah, here we go. I don't really have anybody at the moment. Hi. 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 Well then, join me. Hi. Do I have to kick you? Hang on, I want to look at this real quickly. Let's see. Alright, let's see. Let's see, non-humans...
Let's see, what's his name again? Wrong button. Hi! Friends. Okay. Hi. Hi. Okay, well why won't you? Hi. Trying to find a weapon shop, or at least try to have someone uh, join me. One or the two. I guess I gotta wait, huh? Yeah, cause it says friends, talk to him. He's not joining me for some reason. Okay, well, I guess for the time being right now, there's not much we can do at the moment. I was really hoping that there would be a shop available or something. But then again, I guess that might be too much to ask. Let me try sleeping. It is nighttime after all. There we go. All right, let's see. 80, nice. All right, let me take a look at something real quickly. Uh, there was a particular armor set that I really liked. Despite how powerful that, how strong that is, I don't like how it looks. So instead, I'm gonna go for the iron plate. There are other armor suits that I can get later on, but for the time being right now, I'm getting this one. There he goes. Looks a lot better. Let's see, what? Okay, I got Glory Axe. 
43. And it still does freeze. I think I would rather have the freeze. It's gonna hurt my funds dramatically, but I'll, I'll deal with it. I will keep up with the axe, though. Just can't believe I'm gonna give up on Leviathan. I love how it looks. But, at this point in time, I don't see any reason to hang on to it now. Although it doesn't sell high, so... I may hang on to you for a while. I like you. I like how you look. Alright. Yeah, I like how he looks. He looks way better. I just like that armor a little bit better. I mean, there are other ones that I can get later on, and hopefully I'll get to them eventually. But for the time being right now, I think that's gonna do. Hi. 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 Okay. Hello there. Okay. Yeah, there's not much we can do at the moment right now. Other than just leave for uh, Goblin Haven. Which we will do next stream. So, I'm going to go ahead and sign off for the night. But, uh, next week I will be back on. Um, like I said before, um, next week... I will be having some time off to do, uh, be able to play through Black Myth Wukong whenever it gets released. Uh, I will still be streaming, uh, Monday. Uh, Tuesday, I want to say Tuesday I'll still be streaming as well. We'll just see how times goes and stuff like that. As for any days after that, I haven't really s decided if I was going to or not. If I have time and I feel like I want to stream some more... I'll probably stream some more. If not, it'll just be a normal Monday, Tuesday type thing. So, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next week. Till then, this is Black Cross sign off. Night, guys.